So what I thought I'd do is just uh, talk you through installing the uh, mounting bar onto a um, onto a mountain bike. Here's the bike we're going to install it onto. It's a Specialized Epic. I think it's uh, last year or the year before's model. So it's a fairly modern looking uh, mountain bike with a non horizontal top tube. So let's take the um, let's take the bar out of the bag. So this is the rear of it. This goes on the uh, on the seat post, and uh, uh, this is the front piece. This goes over the um, over the front um, by the handlebars. And obviously, this is the um, the uh, the thumb screw that uh, the seat screws into. And uh, before we go any further, these are the tools that you need. This is just your bog standard uh, Allen key, courtesy of IKEA, and um, this is just a little spanner or a, a pair of pliers would do as well. So first thing to do is obviously just uh, take the paper off the back. Watch out for the plastic. And um, so this is the um, this is going to go on the seat post end, and uh, this is going to go on the uh, on the handlebars end. Um, this is obviously the uh, the thumb screw that just attaches to the seat, and this this is the the bolt that holds the two telescopic um, pieces of the beam together. So the first thing I always do is just loosen that off. That allows this to adjust to any length and just leave it loose until um, until you've fitted it on the bicycle and you're done. Something else just to watch out for is that in here there's a couple of plastic spacers. Um, I find like 99 times out of 100 you need to remove those. So the first thing I'm going to do now is just unscrew these two bolts um, and take the plastic spacers out and, uh, and then we'll go to putting it onto the bicycle. So that's those two bolts off. So then just take these pieces of plastic out. There we go. Just pop the plastic out like that and do the same on the other one uh, and then we'll put it on the back of the bicycle. Okay. So what I then do is uh, I just put the um, and I put the pieces back together and what you should find is that you can actually leave one of these um, one of these two screws in place before you put it onto the uh, onto the front of the bicycle so I'll just put this one in now so it's kind of holding it together okay and the other thing that's worth doing before you uh, put it on the bicycle is actually just loosening off the front of the um, of the frame of the uh, of the bar as well. Uh, otherwise, you just got to do it on the bike. It's a bit of a pain. So I just loosen off both sides, and then actually undo one of them all the way so again. So you can just open the uh, open the bracket fully. And again, you may find that you want to remove the plastic spacer. I think we can leave it on. Um, we'll try and see. Okay, so what I do is I just rest the front of the bar on the bicycle like that. And then because the, uh, the beam's adjustable, as we said earlier, I just extend it out. Plop that in like that. So just resting it together like that, as I said, I just feed the, the bolt through. Put the washer on, and I'm only trying to get it just thumb tied at the moment. I'll tighten it all up later. So that's the the rear piece finished. So moving on to the front piece. Again, just slip it over, and then uh, in goes the bolt. Again, just. Uh, Thumb tight until I go and get the, the Allen key. Okay, so now as you can see, all the four bolts are in. They're, they're thumb tight. I've left the plastic washer or the spacer in the front one. 
and uh, now all I've really got to left to do is to tighten up the four bolts and uh, of course don't forget to tighten up the, uh, the central um, bolt that's just locking the telescopic beam in place. And the back ones just require a little bit more coordination because you've got to hold the um, hold the bolts in place as you screw it down. But again, it's pretty simple. So here's a wheel ride. Just drop the wheel ride on top. Now find the uh, hole in the middle. Drop the screw in. <laughs> and. Uh, Job done.